The Upper Deschutes Watershed Council has been coordinating on-the-ground restoration and outreach activities in the White Chutes watershed since 2006, and by engaging students, teachers, and community members in these activities, we have sought to foster a widespread sense of stewardship for White Chutes Creek. The reintroduction of salmon and steelhead and renewed stream flows in White Chutes are now joined by an invigorated community embrace for a creek that once ran completely dry. The health of the creek was impacted for almost 100 years. During the hot summer months, sections of the creek were completely diverted for irrigation and the creek bed was dry. Also, almost 20 miles of the stream were channelized and straightened in an attempt to prevent flooding. The Upper Deschutes Watershed Council has been working with local partners to restore stream conditions for native fish and has successfully screened irrigation diversions and removed all but one fish passage barrier from White Chutes Creek. There is just one dam remaining. I'm Matthias Pearl, Restoration Program Manager with the Upper Deschutes Watershed Council. We are pleased and looking forward to working with project partners including the Deschutes National Forest, Three Sisters Irrigation District, individual water right holders, and the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife to remove the last dam on Waichu's Creek. Work is scheduled to begin in September 2020 and will involve removal of the dam and construction of an engineered riffle along with retrofitting the irrigation diversion with a state and federally approved fish grade. In order to keep community members engaged in watershed protection and inspired to be active stewards for Waichu's Creek, we at the Watershed Council plan to continue to coordinate watershed outreach activities with local schools and community groups throughout the Waichu's watershed for many years to come.